everybody. Welcome to the Top 10 Luxury Lifestyle Channel. Today, we're going to go over the Stephen Schwartzman billionaire lifestyle. The king of private equity, Stephen Steve Schwartzman, is the co-founder and chief executive of private equity company Blackstone. The 73-year-old billionaire has a private property empire worth 77 million pounds. The son of Schwartzman's curtains and linen store owner, Schwartzman started his first business, which was a lawn mowing operation, when he was just 14. In 1985, he founded Blackstone with fellow billionaire Peter Peterson. The company became the largest buyout firm in the world, with $538 billion in assets. Schwartzman was born in Philadelphia, and in pursuit of excellence, he went to Yale and took a job at Donaldson, Lufkin, and Genrette. After completing his master's from Harvard Business School, Schwartzman joined Lehman Brothers and became the firm's head of the Mergers and Acquisitions Department. He created Blackstone for pursuing merger and acquisition work and real estate. In the process, he became one of the world's wealthiest people, with an estimated net worth of over $25 billion as of April 2021. Blackstone Group is a dominant investor in the real estate sector and has had successful deals like Hilton Hotels and equity office properties. From 2015, Blackstone's deals include investment in the Willis Tower in Chicago and Stuyvesant Town in New York City. Schwartzman is busy living the life fit for a king. He hobnobs with the likes of Donald Trump and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and spends lavishly on himself and the society. Let's take a look at his extravagant lifestyle. A true party lover, Schwartzman has become the richest man in private equity. With big income comes big dreams, and Schwartzman has already turned his dreams into reality. He never hesitates to please his friends and family, which is why he likes to throw extravagant parties. Some of his jaw-dropping shindigs include a Christmas event based on a James Bond theme. This magnificent event made headlines as everything from the venue to Bond Girl waitresses reflected the 007 themes profoundly. In 2007, he celebrated his 60th birthday at his Park Avenue apartment, which was transformed into a regimental armory. The Blackstone Chief's Upper East Side Manhattan residence played host to around 500 high-profile guests like the Trumps, Colin Powell, and Mayor Michael Bloomberg. The event featured private performances by Patti LaBelle, an a cappella group entertaining him with a happy birthday song, Rod Stewart, and New York's Knickerbocker Grays. This party cost Schwartzman approximately $5 million. The Blackstone co-founder and his wife, Christine, hosted an even more extravagant birthday party at their 15,000-square-foot Mediterranean-style Palm Beach estate when the billionaire turned 70. There were around 600 guests, and according to billionaire attendee David Koch, the party included a private dinner with Mongolian soldiers, acrobats, and two camels. Schwartzman stated that the theme of this event was an exotic journey and featured animated illustrations of Venice, Arabia, and Mongolia. Jersey Boys and Gwen Stefani performed at the event, and a massive fireworks display rocked the intercoastal waterway. Some of the high-profile attendees of this party were Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump. A die-hard philanthropist. Steve Schwartzman is among the country's most generous philanthropists. He not only earns big, but spends big as well. Some of his notable charitable works include a $350 million donation to MIT for the Stephen A. Schwartzman College of Computing. He splashed out $100 million for a Rhodes Scholarship-inspired program, Schwartzman Scholars, at Tsinghua University in Beijing. The billionaire gave his alma mater, Yale University, a whopping $150 million to establish the Schwartzman Center Cultural Hub and spent $100 million on expanding New York Public Library's building on Fifth Avenue. That's not all. Schwartzman donated $40 million for Inner City Scholarship Fund, $10 million to the National Library of Israel, and gave $25 million to his high school alma mater, Abington High School, to build a new science and technology department. Recently, Schwartzman gifted $191 million to Europe's second oldest university, Oxford, which is the largest donation since the Renaissance. The Blackstone Group chairman has contributed to establishing an eponymous humanities hub to house the university's new Institute for Ethics in AI. Home Stephen Schwartzman and his wife Christine live in an ultra-luxurious 35-room Manhattan apartment. At the same time, he also owns mansions in Palm Beach, the Hamptons, and Saint-Tropez, and a winter villa in Jamaica. The Manhattan Park Avenue apartment in the famous 740 Park is regarded as the best triplex in this building. 
John D. Rockefeller previously owned the flat, and Schwartzman purchased it for $30 million in 2000. Today, its estimated value is around $120 million. That's a great investment, we must say. This palatial two-story flat features a ballroom-sized foyer that leads the guests into a massive drawing room. Reportedly, it is the largest drawing room in the city. Apart from the high-end furniture and exquisite decorative items, the highlight of this room is a silver-framed photograph showing the equity tycoon arm-in-arm with George W. Bush. The walls of the room are adorned with artworks by Claude Monet. This 20,000-square-foot apartment also features a private gym, steam room, and sauna, billiards room, a screening room, and a separate wing for servants, along with an independent dining hall for servants. We aren't surprised, though, as to manage this 35-room behemoth of a house would certainly require an army of house helpers. The flamboyant billionaire forked out 15 million pounds in 2003 to purchase Four Winds, a mansion on Palm Beach. This all-white house was built in 1937, and due to this, it was classified as a protected historic landmark. But from Schwartzman's standards, this 13,000-square-foot mansion was too small. So he requested the Palm Beach Landmarks Preservation Commission to approve renovations and restoration, including adding another story to the building and an independent servant's wing. Obviously, he didn't get permission, given the house's historical importance. Apart from these magnificent properties, Schwartzman owns an oceanfront apartment located in the exclusive Longboat Key Resort set on the west coast in Florida. This apartment is a two-bedroom unit on the building's sixth floor. Schwartzman fell in love with the spectacular views of the white sandy beaches of the Gulf of Mexico and splashed out 500,000 pounds to purchase it. The unit is set in a private, gated community and surrounded by seven acres of well-manicured gardens. There's a heated beachfront swimming pool as well as a hot tub. Other homes owned by the witty billionaire include a 20 million pound mansion called Villa Cap Sud, located in saint Tropez. Its highlights are the giant palms and the outstanding lawns overlooking the beach and the harbor. Schwartzman keeps a winter home as well, which is located in Round Hill Resort in Jamaica, touted as one of the world's most exclusive five-star properties. It used to be a haven for high-profile celebs such as Grace Kelly, Jackie Kennedy, Fred Astaire, Elizabeth Taylor, and Cole Porter, while current homeowners at the resort include designer Ralph Lauren. It goes without saying that Schwartzman uses a private jet to fly between his five homes. Schwartzman's winter home is a modest 3,700-square-foot abode called Villa No. 8. In our opinion, going by Steve's standards, this house is comparatively small. Located on a tropical hillside, Villa No. 8 features three bedrooms, each offering a panoramic view of the Caribbean. Reportedly, Schwartzman has purchased an eight-acre estate in New York's The Hamptons for a staggering 22 million pounds. It is NYC's best summer enclave for the elites. Talking about his penchant for purchasing houses, the tycoon said, I love houses. I'm not sure why. Well, we think billionaires don't need a reason to splash out millions on luxurious things. Cars. Schwartzman has come a long way from starting as the son of a modest curtain shop owner. The billionaire likes to collect convertible cars, and his extended fleet of vehicles includes the world's best sedans, including Porsche 911, an Audi A4, a Mini Cooper, and a BMW 645Ci. The BMW 6 Series is undoubtedly a competent grand tourer. It features a sublime engine with an acoustic thrill exhaust note. The 645 Ci has an all-aluminum platform and protruding double kidney grille, hiding the car's electronic air flap control. The air flap control can effectively regulate the amount of air that enters the engine to offer superior performance. The powertrain of BMW 645 Ci is superlative. Under the hood, you will find a 4.4-liter V8 delivering 333 bhp on tap. It takes the car only 5.6 seconds to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour and tops out an electronically limited 155 mph max speed. Its max torque is 450 Nm at 3,600 rpm. The 911 has come to define Porsche. This model has been in production for the past 50 and is now into its 8th generation. Porsche 911 comes in three main models, Carrera, Carrera S, and Carrera 4S. Each of the models is available in coupe or convertible cabriolet form. Schwartzman has the convertible Porsche 911. A 3.0-liter turbocharged flat-six engine powers the 911 with an 8-speed PDK automatic transmission and delivers a 380 bhp on tap in standard Carrera models and 444 bhp other models, including the Carrera S. 
The Audi A4 Saloon offers a path-breaking synthesis of aesthetics and technology. Boasting an innovative and futuristic Audi virtual cockpit, it is equipped with a high-resolution 12.3-inch LCD screen. You can get a Bang & Olufsen sound system with a 3D sound set as well. The interior is bursting with inspiring accents and offers a luxury class standard. This model from Audi is built in five generations and is based on the B platform of the Volkswagen Group. The Audi A4 automobile layout comprises a front engine design along with transaxle-like transmissions on the rear of the engine and comes either in a quattro all-wheel drive or a front-wheel drive. Stephen A. Schwartzman is the chief executive of the world's leading investment firm and an acclaimed author as well. Steve is an active philanthropist and never hesitates to give away millions in support of culture, education, arts, and technology. In 2019, Stephen Schwartzman published What It Takes, Lessons in the Pursuit of Excellence, which turned out to be a New York Times bestseller. The book reflected Schwartzman's experiences in business, philanthropy, and numerous other areas of public service. In recognition of his highly varied contributions to business and philanthropy, Steve Schwartzman was awarded both the Légion d'Honneur and the Ordre des Arts et des Lettres at the Commandeur level. Only a few Americans have ever achieved this honor. Schwartzman was also privileged with Mexico's highest possible honor for foreigners, known as the Order of the Aztec Eagle. There is no doubt left that Stephen Schwartzman is a gem, the value of which is recognized at the international level. What do you think about the journey of Stephen Schwartzman? If you like this video, please hit like and share it with your friends. To learn more exclusive facts about your favorite personalities and luxury items, please subscribe to this channel. Until next time!